Lionheart, that's your old pal Jordan the Lion. I know in reality, um, at this point in where you guys are watching the vlogs, I'm really in Ohio. I wanted to make this special vlog because today, by now, I should have hit 100,000 subscribers, which I thought was awesome, but this is also your New Year's Day vlog, and I wanted to make it something kind of cool and kind of special. So we're going to go out to the Arboretum, and you're going to see the Moonlight Lantern Festival. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now, and someone got me something really cool and really special for hitting 100,000 subscribers and at the end of this I'm going to show you what this was and uh, you won't want to miss that. All right, let's roll. Well, here we are, a small taste of what we're in for tonight. Wow, take a look at that guy. Dang. That is intricate. That's our entryway into all of this madness. So this is all taking place at the Arboretum, the same place that they filmed Fantasy Island, or at least the intro, so. Been wanting to come out and check this out for a while. Just uh, didn't have time. And it pretty much goes all the way around the Arboretum. Here you can see people get in the middle of this and look like they're an angel. I like that the bottom of this kind of looks like the Kool-Aid man, doesn't it? Wow, look at this monstrous peacock. You can see they have a little stand right here where you can get your picture taken with it. Wow. This is just photo op city. <laughs> cool thing about this, it goes on, I think every night but Monday from November to January. Take a look at the storks. They have a kind of a definitive path that you're supposed to take, so we're gonna fall in line with that so we get the full experience. Looks like some people with lightsabers down here. Oh, neat, wow. Look at that. I think each one of these exhibits has a name too, but we're not gonna worry about that this time. Just kind of taking the experience. Look at that. Whoa. Pretty freaking trippy, huh? This part looks pretty epic. Oh, that's really cool. Check that out. The panda bears. Thank you so much. That's so neat. Then take a look at this. The monkeys up there in the trees. How neat. And these are all lanterns. Every once in a while he kinda rotates or looks like they all kinda do something. This one climbs the ladder. Oh, this one's over here swinging. Let's keep our eyes on these guys. There we go, look. This guy's starting to climb the little ladder and then this guy up there is walking along the vine. Oh, that's awesome. More pandas. It's like a virtual zoo. Lantern animals. How amazing. Uh, look over here, look over here. <laughs> That's very interesting. And you can see the reflection in the water. Take a look at that. See, she has a snake. This 
place is amazing. Can't believe I've never been out here before. Oh, this is gonna be trippy. I love this kind of stuff. Whoa. Right before we go in. Oh, look, flamingos. Oh, wow, look up in the tree. We've got parrots and snakes. That is rad. Look at that. It's after we ground it to Back in the feather hall. Oh, this is so neat. So neat. Here we've got the desert theme. <laughs> this is so awesome. I know I've said it before, but it really is. And I feel like I've entered a wonderland of some sort. <laughs> All right, now I'm following the Chinese lamps. Let's see where this takes us. Alright, the lanterns didn't really take us anywhere, so I'm back on this track. Oh, looks like we have something coming up around the corner. Something big. I see jellyfish. Looks like we're going down under. Down under the water. Whoa! Holy moly! Look at that! Whoa! And you can walk through all the tunnels and everything. Oh, let's do it. And I noticed that some of the stuff that's hanging from the top is moving. Oh, this is great. Freaking underwater. See the fish down there? Alright, now we're going in. Look at him move. There are all kinds of little motorized mechanisms. I thought we had seen the coolest thing so far until I saw this. This just keeps getting better and better and better. Now you can understand why I wanted this to be the special 100,000 subscriber and New Year's Day vlog. It's like a playland out here. The amount of time this must have taken to do. <laughs> oh yeah, lots more to come. This is a big arboretum. Whoa, what is that? Is that a whale? Oh, that's gonna be nuts. Oh, look at the flowers. So creative. Feed me, Seymour.
Does that look familiar over there? Kind of closed off right now. All right, let's move along. This is so freaking cool. Oh, and the whale's changing colors too. Oh, this is gonna be neat. Okay, so I stand corrected. It looks like it's a shark, not a whale. I couldn't see the fin. Pretty cool. So there's our shark. Now that we get a better look, let's go on in. They call this the shark tunnel. I'm sure you guys wanna know what it feels like to be eaten by a shark. I know I do. Those teeth. And it drops you off right over here by the penguins. And the penguins move. See them moving over there. There's the back of our shark. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. We're gonna have to go back in there for that. Let's hurry. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the teeth at the end now. Look at the teeth. Arrgh. Now he's went green on us. These look like jabber jaws over here. You guys remember jabber jaws? Jabber jaws sounded like curly from the Three Stooges. What do we have over here? These look like we're entering outer space. I see dolphins at the top. Like I said, it's like a virtual circus. Oh, what do we have around the corner? I see something over there. Wow! Look at that! Look at all those butterflies. Wow! And, like many of the things we've seen, they move. Or at least that one does. And look, they're all changing too. The colors are changing. It's kind of a neat effect. We're about to go into outer space in this one. Look at that. Spinning black hole. Oh, look at this. Crocodile over here. And this one actually moves. That thing is huge. All right, let's go on in. Wow. We're going in at warp light speed. Whoa. I'm not sure what's up with these trees, but. They absolutely killed it on this. This is maybe one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Especially for as big as this arboretum is. I mean, you really get a lot to walk around and experience. Now look at this over here. This giant white tree with all the reindeer. That is so amazing. I hope this camera is doing it justice. I don't think there was lights in there. Whoa, what is that? A Chinese temple? Wow! The 
hippos. Wow, that is huge. So is this elephant. Wow. And it moves. And it moves. Now these lanterns over here that look like the drum from Karate Kid 2 actually do have drums. Oh, look at the opera masks. Kind of Cinderella-ish. Now we're getting real festive. Let's see if we can cut off his sleigh here. I see him moving around this way. Amazing peacock. Wow, look at that. Oh, let's see what these are. Oh, it's the year of the snake and the year of the dragon, the year of the horse, all that stuff. The sheep. The year of the monkey. I don't know if that's a monkey down there or a Teletubby. It's a pretty cool zodiac display. Oh, I think he's a monkey. That is a monstrous butterfly. Oh, what do we have here? We gotta walk through this, don't we? few chairs to relax. Oh yeah, let's walk into the dragon. And the tail of the dragon is all these lanterns. Well, my friends, that is it here. So when Jacob the Carpetbagger hit 100,000 subscribers, he did a live stream and I mentioned in there I thought he should get a championship wrestling belt for getting that. Well, I probably would have liked something similar because it was my idea and he did end up getting that belt so it kind of seemed weird for me to get the same thing. So a very good friend of this channel got me a gift for hitting 100,000 subscribers. And here it is. Direct from Graceland. My very own authentic Aloha from Hawaii belt. All right, Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being one of the 100,000 subscribers, and we'll see you all next time back in Ohio. Have a great night. Goodbye.